Hey, it's Tom Ferry. Welcome back to the Spring Listing Campaign Series. So the number two, this is an easy one. If you're looking to generate more listings, I'd like you to consider the following. If you thought about your marketplace and you reflected back, what was the worst year to try and sell your home? What was the time period, maybe a year or two or three, that if they were trying to sell then, the odds are, it was challenging, maybe it was a short sale, maybe it was just in a distressed environment, and even though they had equity, you know, they just got squeezed out of the market. So if you take that time period, my best advice for you would be to then pull up every old expired, canceled, withdrawn, and even every for sale by owner from that time period. Now, guess what happens? You're gonna get this big list. Now, of course, if you can run it out of the MLS and scrub it against anybody that already listed, already sold. That's a really good idea to save you time and energy. So that'll take you a little bit, but once you have that list, you now have this extraordinary list of people that tried to sell in the past and it didn't work out. And now you, with the new economy, the new market, the lack of inventory, have an opportunity to bring them a gift. So let's take a look at two campaigns. You can door knock or you can send mail or you can do both. Now, if I was gonna door knock, I'd probably do something like this. I'd have a list of all the recent sales. I'd have something that expresses you know, the, uh, the lack of inventory. And I'd probably have every transaction I've ever done. I'd, I'd go download my Zillow profile and I'd have that where it shows you know, the map of my city and all my transactions, right? And my 32 great reviews. I'd have something like that. And I would knock on the person's door and I'd say, Hi, my name is Tom Ferry. I'm with Banana Real Estate. You know, we have a shortage of listings right now in the marketplace and I've got lots of buyers that are actually interested in buying a home just, and then I would stop and I'd go, oh my goodness, you guys were on the market in 2009. And I would literally stop, like right there in the middle of my presentation, I would have them go, like look at me like, what's he doing? And say, you were on the market in 2009. Thank goodness your home didn't sell. Thank goodness your home didn't sell. Do you have any idea what your home is worth today? That's how you get them. Think about it. You knock on their door, you go through something like that. You could say, hey, we sell a lot of homes in the area. Hey, we've got multiple buyers. But the key is that you have this moment where you go, wait a minute, you guys were on the market in 2010. You were on the market in 2011. Thank goodness you didn't sell. Your home has gone up 60%, 20%, 7%, whatever it is, it was a great thing that they didn't sell. And then you ask the $64,000 question, knowing that your home's value has skyrocketed. Have you guys had any thoughts of selling this spring or this summer? Have you had any thoughts of selling this spring or this summer? Now, obviously, there's a lot of questions and engagement that could take place here. You know, if they say, well, you know, I mean, we're, you know, we, we were gonna sell in the past, but it didn't work out, and I'm really not interested right now, you would say, that's great, but let me ask you, at what price would you become a seller? Think about it, at what price would you become a seller? And that question is just one more shot over the bow to see if there's a chance, a chance that maybe you just ran into their sales wall, that sales resistance, like they've been thinking about selling, like you go to the department store and you, you gotta get a new jacket or you gotta get a blouse because you're going out to an event and the salesperson walks up and says, hi, can I help you? And what do we always say? No, no, I'm just looking. Well, we gotta get through that sales wall by just asking one more question, you know, if you did sell, where would you guys move to? If there was a price, what would you be willing to sell for? Because we've got more buyers than great homes on the market. Now that little dialogue is gonna get you some opportunity. And if you've got 15, 20, 50, 100, 200 to go after, oh my goodness, what's the old line? Shooting fish in a barrel, right? Something like that, shooting fish in a barrel, I think it is. That's what you, I don't even think that's a line, but you know what I'm talking about. You know they're there and you know a percentage of them are thinking about selling and I want you to get them this spring. Now, of course, if you're gonna mail, hand addressed, hand stamp, non-branded, nothing real estate related on it, ideally in a small card, let them know, I know your home was on the market in 2009 or I know your home was on the market in 2011, thank goodness it didn't sell. Home values have skyrocketed. If you'd like a free home valuation to know what your home is worth today, I'd love to create that for you personally and have a conversation. And then drop that in the mail and wait and see.
If you can't door knock, that's a really good strategy as well. So you've got two now. Have you been sending out those text messages? You better be, you better be. And now you can pull up every old expired, canceled, withdrawn, and for sale by owner and attack. Let's go get the listings. No complaining about no inventory. Let's just focus on solving the problem. Get out there and take action.